What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. Today's video comes by special request by one of our viewers, Yosef Jawer, ask us, and I hope I pronounced that right, ask us if we can make a video on deep stops and how they differ, of course, between safety stops and decompression stops as well. So we're going to look at a couple of different sources, talk a little bit about how you perform a deep stop, and then at the end we're going to talk a little bit about the vitality of them as far as are they worth actually making. So according to Alert Diver Online, it says a deep stop is an additional stop during an ascent introduced by divers beyond what their computer's algorithm demands. And of course, Wikipedia calls it as an extra stop introduced by divers during the ascent at a greater depth than the deepest stop required by their computer algorithm or tables. So they're pretty consistent there as far as what they are. They're an additional stop made during the ascent phase of the dive. So how does that differ from the safety stop? Well, a safety stop, as we learned in a previous video, is a stop at the 15 foot mark or that 10 to 20 foot mark for three to five minutes just to have a little bit of conservatism built in to help bleed off a little bit of extra nitrogen. So the deep stop pretty much does the same thing, but we're not doing it at that 15 foot mark. So how does a deep stop differ from a decompression stop or decompression stops or what we call stage decompression? We're actually accelerating decompression by breathing different mixtures of gas. So for decompression stops, we've actually put ourselves into decompression. Either we went too deep purposely or accidentally, or we've stayed too long purposely or accidentally. We've put our bodies into decompression and that stage decompression stop, we're going to change the gas mixture that we're breathing to help accelerate that decompression. So that's how it differs from the safety stop and the decompression stop. Deep stops are nothing more than just an additional stop that our computers or our tables do not actually require. It's just kind of built in as an additional safety factor. Now, a couple of things that we want to talk about is there's been several studies out and I'll link them down below. According to the Divers Alert Network, they say that deep stops um, added to safety stops will significantly reduce bubble formation and hopefully, you know, not cause that decompression sickness in a diver. It significantly reduces the chance of that. But according to the Naval Experimental Diving Unit, otherwise known as NIDU, they say that deep stops do increase the chance of bubble formation. So you got two highly regarded sources there that they, they differ as far as what they believe or the studies that they've done. You know, as far as whether you decide to do a deep stop, that's completely up to you. Whether or not I do them, it's based off what my computer tells me to do. If my computer tells me to do a deep stop, then I do one. If my computer tells me not to do one or it just tells me to eliminate it, then I do it as well. What I will tell you is most gear manufacturers nowadays will have part of their algorithm built into the computer or part of the settings, you can actually turn the deep stop mode on or off. So it's really going to be your call. But guys, or Yusuf, I hope this really answers your question as far as what a deep stop is. If you got any more questions, feel free to put it down in the comment section below. Guys, if you like this video, simply hit that like button for us. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.